To many, it's nothing more than a nuisance, dirty, sticky, and unavoidable near rivers or creeks. But to the prospector who knows what to look for, mud is not just dirt. It is a cryptic message left by the forces of water and gravity. Within its dull, wet surface could be the shimmering trace of hidden treasure. This is the muddy trick, a method so overlooked yet so powerful that it can place you inches away from gold without tools, without chemicals, and without breaking nature's rhythm. When gold moves through a river, it follows a simple law. It is heavy, too heavy to float far, too dense to scatter randomly. Gold lingers where the current slows, where it can finally rest. And what do those resting places look like? They look muddy. Those thick deposits of fine sediment are nature's filing cabinet, neatly storing minerals of every type. Somewhere inside them, gold lies hidden, waiting for the one who understands the language of mud. The first step in reading mud is to recognize its texture. Not all mud is created equal. Fine, sticky clay carries light minerals, but the mud you want is mixed with black sand. As you scoop it, it feels heavier, denser, resistant to flowing away. That heaviness is the clue. Black sand is iron-rich, and where iron has settled, gold has often stopped as well. This pairing is so consistent that seasoned prospectors almost treat black sand as the shadow of gold. When you swirl muddy water in your pan and notice a dark layer clinging to the bottom, you are not just looking at sediment, you are standing at the threshold of discovery. Yet mud alone cannot confirm gold. To advance, you must follow its trail. Imagine standing at a river bend where the water swings in a curve. On the outside edge, the current rushes fast, scouring the riverbed. On the inside edge, however, the current slows, allowing heavy materials to drop. That's where mud piles up, thick and brown. If you dig there, you are not guessing. You are acting on nature's blueprint. The gold that once tumbled with force has likely come to rest right beneath your feet. But the muddy trick demands patience. Every scoop must be treated like a story waiting to be read. Wash the mud slowly, carefully, watching what remains after the lighter silt drifts away. This is when suspense builds, because every handful of mud has the chance to reveal a gleam. Sometimes it's only black sand. Sometimes it's a stubborn speck that flashes in the light, refusing to move even when you shake the pan. And when that happens, you've struck the language of gold itself. What makes this trick so fascinating is that it transforms mud from an obstacle into an ally. Mud in cracks between rocks, mud trapped under tree roots, mud sitting motionless beneath boulders, all of these hold potential. Picture lifting a stone from the riverbed and finding thick mud packed beneath it. That mud has not been disturbed in years, maybe decades. Gold is heavy, and when floods washed it downstream, that very stone may have stopped it. The mud beneath becomes a vault, quietly holding flecks of treasure out of sight. To ignore it is to walk past gold itself. There is also the hidden chemistry of mud. Look closely and you'll notice colors. Pale yellow clay hints at iron oxide, a common partner of placer gold. Deep red mud suggests heavy mineral staining, the byproduct of metallic companions like magnetite and hematite. These colors are not random. They are coded warnings, guiding you toward the very layers where gold has chosen to rest. Even without equipment, your eyes can become instruments sharper than any machine. If you learn to see mud not as dirt, but as a map. Still, the trick is not just about where mud gathers, it is about where it resists being moved. Mud stuck between boulders or pressed hard beneath roots is gold's perfect hiding place. Imagine digging into that compacted earth, thick and stubborn, and slowly washing it free. The light silt disappears, the dark sand settles, and suddenly, against all odds, a glimmer refuses to wash away. That glimmer is why the muddy trick has become one of nature's simplest yet most powerful secrets. The truth is, gold never travels alone. It moves with companions, iron, magnetite, black sand, and mud is the carrier of them all. To see mud not as filth, but as a coded message, is to see the river with new eyes. And once you do, the hunt changes forever. You stop wandering blindly. You stop wasting energy. Instead, you let the mud guide you, step by step, 
toward the places where gold has always hidden. And so, as the river winds, as the mud thickens, as the black sand gathers, you stand at the edge of revelation. This is no ordinary dirt. It is nature's most overlooked treasure map. You just need to learn how to read it. One of the most powerful signs comes from compacted blue-gray clay buried beneath fresher layers of mud. Prospectors call it false bedrock. It may look dull, but it is a natural stopping point for heavy metals. When gold tumbles downstream, it cannot sink any lower than this barrier. If you reach this clay while working through muddy layers, stop and test it. That thin film of mud resting right on top could be holding the prize. And if you scrape deeper cracks into the clay, you may discover gold that has been trapped for centuries. But here's the suspense. Not every muddy deposit reveals its secrets easily. Some locations demand persistence, as if the river is testing your resolve. You dig, you swirl, you see nothing but black sand. Hours pass and hope begins to fade. Then suddenly in the swirl of the pan, a speck refuses to move. It is heavy, stubborn, bright, a flash of yellow defying the dark sand around it. The silence of the river deepens. Your eyes lock onto that shimmer. It is small but undeniable. That is gold and it proves that the muddy trick has led you to the right ground. Gold in mud can also reveal itself through concentration zones. Look beneath waterfalls where turbulence traps fine sediments, or in narrow crevices of bedrock where mud collects, stubborn and untouched by current. These places are not random. They are gold's final resting beds. If you scoop that sticky mud, wash it carefully and reveal flecks of yellow, you have found what generations of prospectors have dreamed of. The true mastery of this trick is not in luck. It is in reading nature's signs. Mud at the base of iron-stained quartz veins, whispers of nearby loads. Mud that settles in sudden drops or depressions signals a catchment where heavies stop. Mud mixed with garnet or hematite points toward the exact zones where gravity has separated treasures from waste. Each muddy clue sharpens your pursuit, narrowing the distance between you and gold. There's also an art in comparing deposits. Take samples from three muddy spots along a river bend. Pan them. If one holds more black sand, that's the zone worth chasing. If one holds a stubborn speck of gold, you are closer than you think. By letting mud itself become your measuring stick, you turn chaos into certainty. The river no longer feels endless. You have a compass, and that compass is the mud beneath your feet. Now imagine this. You followed the muddy trail upstream, tested pocket after pocket, until finally the deposits grow richer. The black sand thickens, the mud feels heavier, the colors shift toward deep reds and yellows. Your pan begins to reveal not just a speck, but several, clinging to the bottom, shining even in dim light. The suspense becomes electric. You are no longer chasing random signs. You are at the doorway of something bigger. This is how great discoveries are made. Not through luck, not through endless digging, but through understanding the subtle hints nature hides in the most ordinary places. Mud dismissed by so many becomes the secret ally of the prospector who listens. And here lies the ultimate truth. The muddy trick does not require wealth, machines, or chemicals. It requires patience, eyes trained to see, and the courage to trust what others overlook. That handful of sticky earth, dripping with river water, could change everything. It might conceal nothing, or it might conceal gold that has waited for centuries to be uncovered. That is why the muddy trick is more than a method. It is a mystery, a gamble, and a promise. Every muddy scoop is a question to nature, and every golden speck is her whispered answer. And those who learn to hear it, those who learn to read mud like a book, will forever walk rivers and creeks with a secret smile. They know what others do not. They know that treasure hides in the dirtiest of places, waiting in silence waiting for the one who dares to believe that even mud can shine. So next time you stand before a river, a creek, or even a forgotten desert bed, look down at the mud beneath your feet, touch it, test it, swirl it, because hidden in that dull, sticky earth may lie the very sparkle that has driven explorers, adventurers, and dreamers across centuries. Gold, timeless, patient, and secretive still waits, and mud is its keeper. 
And that is the hidden truth of the muddy trick. Simple, overlooked, yet powerful enough to guide you straight to gold. If you've enjoyed unraveling this secret, stay close to us here at EGS Pro, where we transform forgotten clues of nature into timeless lessons of discovery and investment. The river's mud may look ordinary, but to those who listen, it whispers stories of treasure. Until next time, keep your eyes sharp, your patience strong, and remember, sometimes the richest secrets lie right beneath your feet.